Hello my friends and welcome to another exciting one. It's my friend here and today is going to be a very quick one. We're going to take a look at how we can utilize the asset browser to turn elements inside our scene into assets that we can use way over and over again in any other blend file we open. Right. So to start, I already have my scene set up here. It's just a bottle of a couple of models, some background and then some and then some materials applied to it so now if i go to my render view you can see what we have here very simple setup so let's take a look at how we can convert each individual element into an asset that we can reuse them in other blend files we open anytime so that we don't always have to start from scratch so first there are a few things we have to do so first let's change this view, this window here to our assets browser and then let's just change so this is our asset browser as you can see i already have some assets here but then let's take a look at how we can turn these ones into assets right so yours will look something like this blender already comes with a couple of hair assets here and there and then let's see how we can create our own assets and then set up our assets right so first what we have to do is we have to go to edit preference and then go to our file path and then let's add in a new file path into the assets library section right so anytime blender is going to look into all the files here and see if there are some assets for assets files and then it will load them into the blend file anytime you open your blender right so let's hit on this plus here and then let's just So I'm inside, just locate any place you want to create your file path. So I'll do mine here. I'll just hit on plus to create a new asset. So I'll say my new asset. It, it has to, it doesn't really have to be any name. You can name it anything you want. So just save it and then let's select this folder. So this is going to be the folder we are going to create our asset in. So I'll just hit on add library and then it will be added into our assets library like this and then you can just come here and then save preference just to make sure everything is saved so once you are done with that now the main the main file you've opened that you are going to turn into an asset you have to save it inside that folder right so with this file open we do control we do shift control s save us and then we locate where we created that folder so it's going to be here my new asset and then i can save it here right so i'll just save it here and then it's going to be saved into my new asset so once we are done with that the only thing left for us is to select individual as individual models inside our scene and then mark them as assets right so now if i come to this drop down here i can just toggle here and then i'll select this folder so my new asset folder the one we just created so once I select it, you can see we don't have anything set up yet. So if you take a look at this side, you can create a couple of catalogs just to arrange our assets here and there. So we can hit on plus to create a new catalog like this, and then plus to create a couple of them just to arrange our assets and all that cool stuff. Now let's take a look at how we can add in an asset or how we can make any element an asset. So we can select this. If I select this uh, this icosphere here and I want to make it an asset, all I have to do is come to my uh, here, this side here, and then I'll just right click and then I'll go to mark as asset. So the moment I mark it as asset, it's going to be added into my asset. But if we take a look at the asset library, we still don't see anything because it's not assigned to any catalog. So if we go to unassigned, it's going to be here, right? and then so it's going to be here as you can see here so it's as simple as that so now this is saved as an asset right we can do the same thing we can let's say we want all these three things to come together as one asset all we have to do is let me just go to my look dev mode a bit so let's see all these three things this one this one this one this one this one this one as a one asset we just have to select all of them and then we hit on M to create a new collection. And let's name it um, platform. 
then I'll hit on OK. So once I I make a collection like this, you can just select right click, select the collection, right click, and then mark as asset. So the moment I do that, you see it's added into our scene. It's the same thing to this ones. So just select everything, all of them, make it a scene. So as you can see, this is already a scene. So I'll just right click and then I'll do mark as asset. And then it will be added into my scene. But if you take a look at the tube here, you can see that the thumbnail is not showing properly. The reason being is because of the the material applied to this one, right? So if I want this thumbnail to show properly, I just have to go to my shader editor and then just make sure it's just a simple material. So I'll just remove this from it. Sorry. I'll go to my objects and then make sure I just set up a very simple material just to show what I mean. So I'll just drag this and place it here. Then remove the rest of these ones. So we just have a very simple material, right? And then now if I go to my asset browser, I can refresh, refresh asset library, or I can remove it. I can clear it and then I will do it again. Right click, mark as assets. It's still not showing. So let me just go back into the shader editor. Let's remove this. And let's add in a very simple material. So I say this one like this. And then I'll go back to my asset browser, clear this asset, then select this tube, right click, and then let's mark it as asset. And now you can see the thumbnail is showing properly. So you can have that issues here and there. So now let's just, um, let's say we want to add Want to add the materials as assets as well. How are we going to do it? Because if you take a look at this side, we can we don't see the materials. So we just have to come to the here. Then we go to we change the view to blend file, right? So once we change it to blend file, we will see all the elements inside this particular blend file. So we have brushes, cameras, collections, all of the elements, right? So we just locate our materials, and then we have all these materials here, right? So let me just select this material. And then, so we have all the materials here, right? So just just to for demonstration purposes, I'll just select this one, go back to my shader editor, I'll add in a new material. I'm going to rename it to, uh, let's say test test material, right? And then I'll change it. I'll make it metallic then change the color to this gold material like this right so now if i go to my my asset browser i will see my test material here so i'll just have to select the material right click and then mark as asset and then it will be added into my asset browser like this so now the inside the catalog you know, we can go with all or inside the catalog so let's say this we rename it into material and then we create another catalog and then we name it as let's say models right so now if you go to unassigned we can just select and then just drag and drop it into any catalog we want and then we can select this and then drop it here so now it's what nicely organized if i click on material i have this and then if i click on models i have this one and then if i click on all all of them will show nicely so once you're done and you're happy with it all you have to do is do Control plus s and then you should be fine and ready to go right so let's close this one and then let's open up a new blend file and test it out so i'll go to new general to create a fresh blend file let me select these two i'll hit on x and then i'll delete it from our scene now let me drag and then let's go to our asset browser and let's see whether we will be able to access our asset so this is showing all the assets we have set up but let, let's just filter it to the only asset we just created so i'll go from this here this toggle i'll click on it now I'll go to my new assets right and then here they are so i have my all my assets we created we have the material and then we have the models now 
if we want to make use of these assets it's very simple we just have to drag and then drop right but if we drop it this way it's going to come as one it's going to come as one one instance so we will not be able to make edits right so now if i click away and then i select this you can see it comes as one instance so if you go here there's no way we'll be able to edit individual objects inside this scene right and this is not something we want so let's just change it so let's say for this one if we want to make the edits right if we want to make individual edits what we have to do is once we select everything we hit on f3 to search and then we set for make instance real right so just click on make instance real and then click on it and then now all of them will become an individual instance that you can edit easily right if i go to my look dev mode it comes with all the materials applied to it already so it's as simple as that another way to do it is so let's say let's drag this in so it's inside our scene before we click on anything we have to toggle this collection here and then click on check this instance right so once we uncheck it now it becomes individual material individual models straight from the start right so it's as simple as that let's say we add another shape so let's go mesh and then let's add an ecosphere here and then we want to apply the material so we just select the material drag and drop it onto it and then it will be applied like that right so that's it for today i hope you learned something new and i hope it will help you speed things up thank you very much for watching please check out my cosmetic bottles pack which contains 20 cosmetic bottles five pre-made scenes materials gobos and a lot more to help you create professional looking cosmetic renders in no time link in the description below